Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome to this incredible event. An event that will take you through the journey of three incredible women. Now, let's go straight to the point and let's go straight to the women. We have women who date two men. How far will you go for money, for fame, for love, for forgiveness, for vindication, for respect, for desire, for redemption, for revenge? The girls are back. I need to talk to you. Yes! Yellow Pepper Season 2. Hello, Africa! Follow all the action, romance, Intrigue. Let go of me. You come to my house to threaten me. And great food. Yellow Pepper Season 2. Showing on Maggie Websites. Brought to you by Maggie. Yes, yes, yes. You've seen a little bit of the action and a little bit of the intrigue. And trust me, this is the most popular series on the internet right now. Wouldn't you agree, Jocelyn? Absolutely, John, uh, but just like the singles, there's always three sides to a story, his side, her side, and the truth. So let's wait until we hear from the ladies before we are quick to judge them. My name is Justin Dumas, and I play myself on Yellow Pepper Season 2, and I know that you are as excited to be here as I am. Now, tonight promises to be nothing filled short of excitement and intrigue. All I can tell you today, tonight is make sure that your internet is very strong and you have enough data because I wouldn't want you to miss any of the excitement on here. Not only are you the first people to watch this amazing series brought to you by Maggie, but you also get to speak to some of the cast and the director right here. Before we go on, I'd like to speak to someone very incredible for Maggie, uh, obviously our proud sponsors. His name is Wilfred to tell us a little bit more about tonight. Wilfred? Uh, hello. Good evening. Hello, Wilfred. Hi. Okay. Sure. Okay. So, this evening I'm very excited and happy to talk about these two projects. Uh, actually, two projects, yes. It's not only one. It's Yellow Pepper, yes, but we have something that is linked to Yellow Pepper. And I'm sure all the foodies and the life lovers are going to be delighted. So Maggie is bringing through the brand new website. We have launched new website. You can see maggie.com.gh, maggie.ng. You will see that during uh, this program. We are bringing uh, new uh, recipes, yummy recipes, seasoning recipes, nutritional information, information about our products. Actually, our products, I want to specify, they are made with natural ingredients that you know and that you love, like garlic, onion, fish. So you also be able, able to enjoy the meaningful content that we are bringing to the African ladies on our website. So for us, clearly uh, a way uh, in this region in which we have been for 60 years to serve the African woman in all the aspects of her life. Kitchen and cooking, yes, but beyond. We are helping the to you, Jocelyn and uh, John. Thank you so much, Wilfred. Um, this is exciting news. I mean, everybody knows how we're all about healthy lifestyle nowadays. So I cannot wait for everyone to go on the Maggie website to check out all the healthy re recipes. And I want to say thank you to Maggie for making cooking for generations so easy and for empowering women as well. Okay, now the director is on the line. We'd like to speak to Shelly right now. Shelly? Hi. Hi, Shelly. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm great. Good to have you on here. Now, tell us, uh, what is so different about Yellow, Pe Yellow Pepper Season 2? Okay, so um, for starters, there's a lot of food. Like, <laughs> it's a, a lot of delicious looking and tasting food. We had a lot of fun cooking, all of us, you know. And, and when, I, when I say all of us, I mean every single one of us, including myself. And then, of course, the drama is being heightened to, you know, 100 degrees plus and more. You know, I think that uh, personally, I was very excited to 
to work with um, you know all the ladies again, especially uh, you know there was Sophie, there was Dana. It was it was it was amazing to have these uh, ladies on board, and of course Anita, Ade, Michelle, um, Aureli. You know it was it was crazy, and so the combination of the food and the drama. <clears throat> I have said it before on another platform. I personally, I don't think that you know it's ever been done before, and. Uh, the, the fact that it's, it's been done so tactfully that you enjoy the cooking as much as you enjoy the drama, mm. you know, it's, 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 it's been, it's been crazy. And, mm. you know, the idea of also having to, you know, switch between English and French on set, you know, I, I, I don't speak French, but I think that, you know, half the time I was fascinated myself how much I could understand exactly what it is they were doing or saying so I could direct them. You know, so it was, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy fun. Yeah. I, you know, and I think people would, would see that right from the first episode that, you know, it just, it starts off with a bang. That's not a dull moment at all in season two of Yellow Pepper, you know, and everybody is hiding something. Mm. Everybody mm. is hiding something. So what can mm. tell for that? Now, you heard from the director, it has been tactfully done, and you're not going to be disappointed. There's never a dull moment on Yellow Pepper Season 2. Now, if you're wondering where you can watch this, make sure you log on to all the Maggie websites. It's right there, as well as all the incredible, incredible recipes. Make sure as you're watching, you have all your questions ready uh, to ask Shirley, to ask your favorite uh, act on there and please keep them coming because we'd like to hear from you it's very interactive it's, it's about you and us in here today so make sure you keep your questions coming in and don't forget dominic such a kind and gentle character you know and he's so gifted you know when i opened this particular apartment complex he was one of my very first tenants so he's very dear to my heart can you believe can you it show me the bedroom Sure, right this way. This is so strange. It feels like such an intrusion. You know, I never enter my tenants' apartments in their absence or without their permission. Ooh, I must say, the man sure knows. He hasn't really been living here that long. But I do know he used to date Anna, that other lady in the semifinals with him. I heard he left her suddenly. Poor woman. I don't think she ever forgave him for that. And her gang would do anything for her to win that competition. Her gang? Her friends. You know they went to great lengths to ensure she stayed in there. Of course, Anna on her own is harmless, but together, hmm. To, together what? You don't think that they would be in any position to harm a big man like Dominic, right? Five, four, three, two, one, stop cooking, step away from your tables. So after many weeks of exhibiting skill and talent, the judges have decided from your dishes today the final three who will cook at the grand finale. The premier candidate qualified for the final is Dominique. I have no reason to want Dominic gone. That's insane. But we all saw your face on TV when your name was mentioned. You looked anything but happy. I was shocked. Why, well, you didn't think you are going to win? Hmm. Well, unlike Dominic, I had some bumps in the road. Enough to doubt yourself and um, put certain measures in place so that you would eventually win. What? Isn't it true that three months ago a group of your friends talked you into entering the competition? Yes. So? But you didn't want to. What changed your mind? What changed your mind, Anna? Maybe let's just take a sec Make we connect with no internet When I deal with you I got no regrets
wanna take a moment to sit and reflect mm. I've been thinking on your lips Like the way you lick it and I love it on my lips The love was a myth but it really does exist And I forgot to say I appreciate your energy Miss Ella, I have some amazing news No, 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 no Oh, Jenny, you have to take a look Look Jenny, you don't see the fix I'm in, huh? Table five, new. Welcome, mom. Right. You definitely need a new hand in here. <laughs> You're telling me. I have these regular customers. They come in every single day looking for something fresh, something new, something with a twist, and I'm running out of ideas. Hmm. Do you have any vegetable, like, F4. Ademe. Uh, yes. Why? What are you thinking? I'm thinking this needs a bit more color. I think the green of the leaves would really complement the yellow of the Egusi. And it's bright and it's nutritious. You're a smart girl, you. Genius. <laughs> but you are going to help. Not before you listen to my amazing news. Okay. What is it? Cook the Difference show is back and they've just opened for applications. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Miss Anna, this is the biggest home cooking show on the entire continent. A $150,000 cash prize, not to mention the fame and the publicity. This is exactly what this place needs. <laughs> this is exactly what we all need. Mina, what I need is not to lose customers. Hurry up, help me with this. Let's make it look nice and neat, yeah? I hope you like this. Is this exactly what you meant? It looks fantastic. Even better. <laughs> and the final. <laughs> Contracteur n'emprunte une mauvaise décision opérationnellement. Te rends-tu compte que les motos sont dangereuses En plus, tu vas devoir prendre une assurance pour chaque motocycliste que tu vas devoir embaucher. Mais je perds le client à cause des prestataires de services. Ils ajoutent la réversion de nourriture aux autres produits et la livrent au moment qui leur convient. Bien, sois plus ferme. S'ils ne livrent pas à temps, tu ne les payes pas. Et tu crois que je n'ai pas essayé ça Alors trouve une autre solution. Je viens de te faire part de nos solutions. On n'a pas les moyens, mon. Un prêt va trop nous exposer. Donc de croiser mes bras sans rien faire pendant que tes affaires marchent. Mais depuis quand c'est devenu une compétition Quand tu as donné l'impression que c'en est une. Hey. It gets even more exciting and just like the director rightfully said there's not a dull moment now that you've seen the drama I'm sure you're wondering where you can go to watch it unfold make sure you log on to all the Maggie websites to watch not only the drama series but also interesting amazing healthy recipes brought to you by Maggie now speaking of drama Okay, so guys, um, make sure that you're sending in your questions as well. I did ask you earlier on that. Make sure you send questions to your favorite uh, character on Yellow Pepper Season 2. So we're waiting to hear the question. We've seen some coming in already. We want to hear from you. We want to hear more from you. And don't forget to go on all the Maggie websites to watch how the drama unfolds and all the exciting, healthy recipes brought to you by Maggie. Food just got more interesting. 
So what do you want to cook today? Even the most traditional meals can be made interesting for kids. Or maybe you're feeling creative? Or you want traditional but quick? Every recipe comes with full nutritional information. My Menu IQ is the first of its kind in Africa. My Menu IQ is a special feature developed by Nestle which tells you the nutritional quality of each meal with a score out of 100. This My Menu IQ score is displayed on each recipe. The higher the score, the better the nutritional quality. This means more balanced and less sodium, saturated fat or other nutrients of concern. All recipes on the Maggi website have scores that are 45 or higher, meaning they all have good or great balance. The My Menu IQ score can help you improve your nutritional balance. It also tells you how much energy in the food is coming from fat, protein or carbohydrate. My Menu IQ is a great guide for you and your family to better understand your meals and to make the choice to enjoy well-balanced meals. Each recipe also shows the time needed to prepare it and the ease of cooking, whether easy, intermediate or difficult. You also have the opportunity to rank the recipes with stars. These exciting features give us the power to choose and enjoy the right meals for any moment and still ensure healthier eating. Do try them and don't forget to rank the recipes. Want to know about your favorite Maggi products? In the mood for some drama, action and romance? Relive all the drama from season 1. Don't miss a single episode of season 2. And there's even more. With all this drama and amazing recipes, food just got really interesting. Just type in the websites and start enjoying. <clears throat> now you know what's a goal when in need of exciting food inspiration and sizzling drama. Speaking of drama, John. You're part of all the drama. What was your game plan in the series? Well, as a detective, I would say that this is one of the first series that I actually had a case to solve. You know, <laughs> the other ones, we, we <laughs> literally knew what was going to happen. But, right. uh, I mean, that's just a joke. Uh, but I feel that it was good. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. I had more than enough evidence. So I had more than enough information to be able to, you know, to write down and to crack the code. Mm. You know what I mean? And so for yeah. me, it was, it was amazing. And interviewing all the women, and especially, especially the landlady, <laughs> she was just off the hook. I mean, for me, she just gave me more than, she just gave me too much information. Right. You know, but speaking of landlady, let's go right now uh, online and speak to Anna, who played the landlady in Yellow Pepper season two. Hello, Hello Anna. Anna. Michelle. Michelle, hi. Michelle, hi. How are you? Oh, okay. I'm good, how are you? I'm great. I'm good, and how are you coping with everything? I'm, I'm, I'm coping. I'm in London and I'm missing everyone and really excited about the series starting. It was so much fun to do. Good, thank you, Michelle. But so let me ask, do you have any more information to give me to crack 
the code uh, to finish the oh, case. Oh, you know, I always have information. <laughs> Call me, I'll tell you. <laughs> so tell me exactly how it was, you know, the experience you had, uh, you know, filming Yellow Pepper Season 2. Well, surely sets are my favorite to work on. They're always very organized, very orderly, very peaceful, always, you know, a great atmosphere. And she makes it easy. She just pulls it right out of you. She's very calm. She never shouts or anything. She's just like, okay, we're ready to do this. And we all just line up and do it, you know. Plus, a great script always helps. And the script was amazing. I had to keep myself from laughing in the middle of doing my scenes because they were just so hilarious yeah yeah i remember one of the scenes we were, were having i mean you kept on talking 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 and uh, of course when i saw the script and i realized you were the one talking talking i was like okay i'm okay because at least i don't like really i don't like much talk when it comes to film so thank you so much for taking part of the words of part of my lines <laughs> for me on on, on the script oh, so gosh. thank you so much and uh, god You're bless quite you welcome my dear <laughs> keep safe <laughs> okay Okay, now speaking, I know John mentioned Anna. Let's introduce you to Anna. Hi, everyone. Welcome to season two of Yellow Pepe. My name is Anita Eskin, and I play Anna from Ghana, the beautiful country nestled on the coast of West Africa, and of course, home to the shining black star. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So, so, so we've met Anna. Anna, 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 Anna. Yes, Jocelyn, how are you? Oh, I'm great. Anna, tell me the experience uh, on this set. And tell me what was different from season one and season two. I think um, I'm, if I can be very honest, I'm a budding actress. This would have been generally my first time uh, working on a full-length production. Short, um, short film or um, some kind of commercial, that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, I, earlier on this week, I said I have to start this conversation, of course, by thanking God. He is so graceful. Um, and he is the one that really makes opportunities uh, come our way. But I also have to say a big thank you to Shirley because I think genuinely Shirley took a chance on me. And I thank goodness that I think I haven't let her down. Now, the difference between season one and season two is, well, Anna is still a little bit in a funk as far as her business is concerned, and definitely as far as her love life is concerned. Um, but she can get out of that funk with the help of her friends, her girls, um, but she just needs to just let her hair down and just simmer down a little bit and connect with who she really is. Mm. So you're going to see a lot of Anna trying to be, you know, a loving person and trying not to think about life or trying not to be too serious. Uh, but I think the competition kind of gets her thinking what life truly is all about for her. Mm. And I want to say a big thank you to Maggie as well for mm. choosing me to play the role of Anna. Mm. Um, having to switch between French and English was a pleasant challenge that I'm very proud um, they gave to me. And uh, big love to my girls, man. My girls completed it all for me. Very supportive. And I'm so proud of being part yeah. of a cast that really does show the power and beauty of the African woman. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure we all can't wait to watch you switching, especially from English to French. But tell me quickly, where did you draw all your inspiration from? Because, I mean, Anna is, is a tough one from the way you've described her. So where, where do you actually go to get your inspiration from before you get into character? Um, I'm learning. So one of the things that um, Shirley kept saying was, you know, read the lines, but understand the plot. So you can understand exactly what it is that Anna needs to feel. And that's what I guess a good actress should do. Um, so I made sure that whenever I got my script, I paid particular attention to the plot. And also making sure that I was always ready and calm, always on set early enough to, you know, to kind of simmer down and never really rushing. But again, ultimately saying that one very important prayer every single time, knowing that I'm a newbie, knowing that I'm very young to, to the acting scene and knowing that I needed to bring a lot of focus to this. And also knowing that uh, the brand Maggie for me um, is a reflection of where the modern African woman wants to go and being a woman's advocate, knowing that I needed to bring that to the script as well. Mm. Anna is not perfect. And that's what we all are. We are imperfectly perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Anita. So, yes, we are imperfectly perfect. Let me go straight to Aureli, who is ready to speak to us. 
Bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la saison 2 de la série Yellow Pepe. Je m'appelle Aurélie Eliam et j'incarne le rôle de Aïda dans cette belle série. Je suis ici de la Côte d'Ivoire, le beau pays qui est premier producteur mondial de cacao. Aurélie Aurélie Okay, let's move to Ade. Ade. Hey girl. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. I'm great. How are you guys? Well, we are good. Shala Fiani. Anyway, so, I love so, it. so glad for you to join us. I mean, you've seen, you were on the set, you, you saw everything, you experienced everything. Tell me exactly how you felt about your character and how everything is manifesting for you, especially our partnership with Maggie. So I have to say that I think I had the most fun character. Sorry, guys, no offense, <laughs> but I feel like Nina was just the most fun. Um, so my character is a, a lawyer, I guess, by, by training, but she's obsessed with all things lifestyle and food blogging. So in season one, we saw her um, rebelling against her parents and trying to just really pursue this dream of being a food blogger. And um, by season two, she sort of started her own business and she's doing really well and she's um, taking off. And of course, her friendship with, with Anna um, forces, uh, well, well, she forces Anna to join the Cook the Difference competition. And so that's kind of the premise of, of the new season. So Mina is so much fun to play. Um, she has the best outfits. She has the best accessories. She is just... The life of the party loves to have a good time, and um, I'm so honored that uh, Maggie had me come back again to do season two. I feel like season one was a bit of an experiment, and it did so well. We, we had over 20 million um, views across the continent, so that, that was really exciting. So um, it, to see that we've created something special here, for me, I was so incredibly proud to be a part of that, and all mm -hmm. thanks to Maggie. Thank, yeah. thank you so much. But before you go, give me, give me one adjective to describe the love of your life in Yellow Pepper season two? The love of my life? Yes. Um, one adjective. I would say, um, hmm, like Andrew. Yeah, because I'll ask him. Mina and Andrew, you see, Mina and Andrew had uh, some, some issues. Yeah. Um, I would say, <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> I would say, um, unsteady is probably what I would say. <laughs> 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 okay, you guys, you guys should go backstage and, 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 and connect now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ade. <laughs> okay, now that was quite interesting. I'm sure everybody watching is taking their favorite character as we're unveiling them. Make sure you send your questions in and we'd like to ask your favorite cast um, right here tonight. Now, speaking of cast, there's a new audition to, there was a new audition this season uh, to Yellow Pepe and her name is Dana. Let's see a video of her to introduce herself. Hi everyone, welcome to the season two of Yellow Pepe. My name is Jaina Ballers and I play Nabu. I'm from the beautiful and colorful Senegal, the land of hospitality, peace and love. Land of hospitality, peace, peace and love. Welcome. Thank you. Now you joined, you joined um, the cast in season two, right? Yeah. Now tell us, what went through your mind when you first came on set? Because you know that season one, they, everybody had bonded and you were like the, you know, the new addition to the cast. How, how did you sort of work your way into getting comfortable to even play your role? Yeah, before anything, hello to everyone. I'm so glad to see you all again. I miss you so much, all of you guys. Uh, my name is Jaina Ballers, and uh, as individual, I'm from Senegal, and I have the pleasure to play the character of Nabu. So um, coming from um, uh, coming to my 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 my, my first uh, my first days, uh, my operation in uh, in Yellow Pepe Two. 
It, um, in the first time, I thought it would be a little bit difficult, but when I came here and I met all of these beautiful people, I have been really welcomed and to feel comfortable to work with all the team, you know, and uh, the, the, the day after I, I arrived to, to Ghana, uh, I met Shirley, this, this great, this great uh, director that I had the pleasure and the honor to work with. Shirley, I love you so much, <laughs> by the way. So um, it was uh, challenging by, by the, in the beginning because I, it, was, it was the first time for me to play an entire character in English. Uh, even if it's only half the time, but uh, everyone took part on helping me to mm. succeed. I think this uh, this this character. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, did you enjoy playing your character? Sorry. Did you enjoy playing your character? Yes. Yes, I enjoyed to play Nabu because uh, once of all. Um, uh, first of all, Nabu is a fashion victim, and in in the real life, I'm a fashion I'm a fashion victim. It was, I think, the similar character between my character and myself. Okay. Even if Nabu is a bit clueless and naive, but she she she's a character who is surrounded by a lot of love uh, from her relatives, like uh, Aida Mo and also by all the other four girls. So I had, uh, I, I enjoyed every little time of, of, uh, of shooting the, the, this character. Good, yeah. thank you so much. And you speak amazing English, by the way. Amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to the next person we have. Uh, that would be Aida. Sophie. Hello everyone and welcome to season two of Yellow Pepe. My name is Sofia Ida and I play the role of Isabel Kinge. I'm originally from the beautiful country of Cameroon in Central Africa, also known as Africa in miniature. So, 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 so. Sofia Ida. Hello? Yes, sir. Ça va bien? Yes. Bien et toi? Ah, oh, tu es très jolie. <laughs> Merci, merci. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, John. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, sweetie. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much. Hi, guys. <laughs> well, well, the, truth is, that, the truth is that we all miss you, and um, <laughs> we are looking forward to probably maybe season three coming sometime in the near future. I know, I know. <laughs> and I miss you guys so much, so, so, so much. And I'm so glad that, you know, although we're going through this uh, crisis all around the world that we're able to connect like this, you know, together and with everybody else yeah. watching today. Good. Yeah. So everybody has spoken about the experience. What is your, or what was your experience? Or what is that one thing that you'll take out of Yellow Pepper season two? Okay, so I think that the biggest thing that I would take from the season two is um, the fact that, you know, you come into an, an um, a journey like this or an experience like this and and you're thinking as an actor that you know you're just gonna come and do your job and uh, and give your best as you know for um, as far as what people expect of you um, but I really had one of the biggest life lesson you know um, that I could have ever had through you know connecting with different people and understanding you know that we're different and we communicate differently and we need to um, sometimes manage you know everybody else so that we can um, so so that we can um, understand each other I don't know how to put it so it was more like a it was a life lesson um, I we, we went through so much and many sacrifices and, and sleepless nights, you know, sometimes and, and working a lot of hours. And um, I really think that for me, it was, it was life changing because I was able to grow. I literally was able to grow as a person, you know, um, not only, you know, by, by getting this character, but really as a person, you know, so that for me is, is, is priceless, to be honest. Mm. Well, thank you so much, but I hope you've been trying some of the re mm -hmm. recipes on the Maggie website. And of course, you're using my Of up. course, of <laughs> course, especially the okra okra soup um, uh, dish that yeah. I tried, and then the sauce grain, which is like a, a um, Ivorian dish right. um, that I I didn't know how to make before. So yeah. 
Yo, merci mm. beaucoup et à bientôt. À tout à l'heure. Merci. Je Thank you. À tout à l'heure. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, so what? We, it feels like we're leaving the guys out. Hi, hi, gentlemen. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey. I see hey. Mo. Already he's back. Is your, is your, is your mic on? No, it's not. But it's on it's now. It's on now because it wasn't on before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So let, let's speak to Mo. Hi, Mo. Hey, how's it going? Good, good, good. Now, tell us, tell us, tell us the feeling, you know, for Yellow Pepper Season 2. How do you feel about Yellow Pepper Season 2? Oh, sorry, everything times two. You know what I mean? This is Season 2, but everything has been multiplied. Um, it's great. It's just like, I mean, it's the perfect time to actually release it. Everybody's at home. Everybody's cooking. And, you know, Maggie's bringing everybody together. Everybody's at home cooking with Maggie. And yeah. now Maggie's bringing a series, you know, cooking something very, 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 tasteful and spicy for, for everybody to enjoy. I'm very, yeah. excited. Now, now, Mo, I know you like cooking, so please make sure you're not cooking up a storm in your house, okay? Make sure. Or if you do, make sure you bring me some. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Okay. Dominic? Andrew, Dominic. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, What's up? yeah. Hello. How are you? I'm great, thank you. And how are you doing? Oh, that voice. That voice. Now, t tell me, tell me a little bit about your character in uh, Yellow Pepper. Oh, well, um, in season one, we get to meet him as, you know, someone who seems like he has it all together. You know, he's, uh, he's taking territories for his uh, food beverage business. And, uh, you know, he's just, he's just this guy walking tall, doing his thing. Mm. But I think towards the end, we're giving a clue that things are starting to fall apart for him. Mm -hmm. And um, we see exactly to what extent in two. Mm. Now, what was your game plan in season two? Yeah. Uh, the, the same as it was in season one, just make sure I give a, I give a very good performance. Um, uh, and represent myself well as an actor and not embarrass anybody <laughs> in the process. So, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm talking about yeah, Dominique's about game it, plan. Actually. Ah, Dominic's game plan. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, in, in, season, in season two, yes. uh, Dominic, Dominic doesn't have a game plan. You know, life has kind of, uh, he's trying to really understand what is going on. He's trying to really find himself again. Because uh, the, the real Dominic is not the Dominic you saw in season one. Mm -hmm. You're going to see the real Dominic in season two, uh, which is a, a man who is going through a lot, who's trying to make things right at the same time. Mm. And um, there's a whole lot of uh, issues that he needs to sort through. So Dominic doesn't have a game plan. Mm. He has, the game has hit him, and he's now trying to make a plan around it. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Stefan. Yeah. Yeah. Patron, patron, ça va? Ça va très bien, et toi, John? Ah, je suis bien, je suis bien. Côte d'Ivoire, ça va, c'est hey, bon? Hey, Jocelyn. Côte d'Ivoire, c'est bon? Ça va très bon? bien ici. Oh, ok, ok. Oui, c'est bon. Oh, tu es très belle, hein? Beau, beau, beau. Oh, <laughs> Stefan, look, I mean... Hey, Jocelyn, hey, Jocelyn. Hey, Stefan, ça va? I mean, I know that um, you had been, oh, you've been to Ghana so many times to film, uh, but I know that this was a different experience for you. Can you tell us about it? And, of course, your, your working relationship with everybody, the cast, the crew, and, of course, with Maggie. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, I was a fan of the series. You know, I watched season one of Yellow Pepe, and I didn't expect to be working on it on season two. So when I got the call telling me that I was going to be a part of this project, I was thrilled. And then have um, a brain like Mikey associated to it, it was really something, like, really pleasing to me. So when I got to Ghana, on top of already feeling good about the, the project, well, I got to meet uh, different people that I clicked with, if you can say it like that. Uh, we, we, we developed like a nice, nice relationship uh, with, with, with the other actors, you know, like the, the, the ladies, the guys, you know, 
it was it was it was kind of kind of good. It was a good environment. It was a good uh, atmosphere for me. Yeah. Good. And mm. um, of course, we are hoping that there will be a season three, and of course, you come back and um, you hey, try hey, out. Hey. <laughs> I hope Cheryl is listening. <laughs> no problem. Thank you so much for talking to us. Okay. Now, I know that we asked uh, our viewers to send questions, and we have a question right here. Now, the question goes to Mina, and it says, is Mina and her handsome boyfriend finally going to get married? So I don't know if Mina would answer that question, or Shirley, no, let Andrew, or let Andrew. Andrew, Andrew, let Andrew answer. Who, who wants to go first? Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let me Andrew, go first. No, Andrew, you go first. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> See, I don't want you to complain later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the kind of a relationship that um, they're always fighting. Always, <laughs> always fighting. This is your well, fault. Okay. Are you guys <laughs> fighting you guys already? What? <laughs> you have to, you have yeah, to I don't think I can give too much away about that particular question, but you have to watch. You have to watch. Okay, <laughs> so you heard from Andrew, guys. You have to watch. Make sure you go on all the Maggie websites and tune in and see how the drama unfolds. Will they really get married eventually or not? I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing that as well, you know, how it all unfolds. <laughs> now, there's another question. Uh, <laughs> Jocelyn, what was your favorite scene? Whoa. Um, the you know what? The cooking scene. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't have a favorite scene, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I didn't even expect this question <laughs> to be thrown at me. But um, the entire series is a must watch. And I'm not going to give out so much. Because if, if I tell you what my favorite scene is, you might not even go and watch because I would have told you everything. So make sure that you log on to the Maggie website and see. But the cooking scenes, I, I love it when the food is displayed just like that, you know? It's quite incredible. Um, the next question is, was the series filmed... Where was, where was the series filmed and how long did, did it, it take? Did. This is from Claudia Malange. Shirley? Shirley. Okay, so okay. The, the series was filmed in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And... Um, how long did it take? I, I'd say, you know, it depends. We're talking about pre-production, production, everything. Um, I think six to eight weeks. Am I right, guys? Yeah, I think six to eight weeks, yes. Mm. Yes. That's how long it took. And this, this was almost every day of, of working. Working yeah. very, very hard. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of work, but, you know, very rewarding as well. Right. Thank you. Now, we'd like to speak to Wilfred. Wilfred, what went into, into filming this series for Maggie? Wilfred? Oh, uh, no, yes. I'm here. Yeah. Yes. What went into filming this entire drama series uh, with Maggie? Uh, I can say very interesting, very exciting. So uh, for us, it was clearly, you see, and I've said it, everyone has said it, it's clearly to mix the drama with the nutritional information and education. It was very exciting to meet with the people, sharing this passion, not only for uh, cooking, but also having this uh, mindset that we have and that we are sharing that African ladies are more than what people think and that's what we share that's mm. what we we have brought into this series so filming it was very interesting we have shared a lot and yes if it is to be done again we will do it again and we are thinking about it already that's good now will, will it be showing on tv that's a good question so as you know this is uh, a series for african uh, countries west and central african countries so yes, depending on the countries, we have plans to air this web series, I mean, this series on TV, yes. That's good. Miranda, we hope that uh, Wilfred has answered your question, and it was from Miranda Queno. Thank you so much, Wilfred. Okay. So Miranda would ask this question again. My favorite couple from season one, Dominic and Anna, are they getting back together this season? 
Who wants to answer that question? <laughs> Dominic and Anna, are you guys getting back together this season? You know, I think I'll let Anna take this one. Oh, no, why? Why don't you want to answer it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dominic, tell them why I should answer, or shall I ask? Um, <clears throat> uh, no, you, you shall not ask him. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's a very important question, and um, um, I've been asking myself that question also, so we'll see. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, um, it's, it, you're you're going to have to watch to, to see. I mean, there, there, there's something very interesting that happens between um, Anna and Dominic. So uh, quite a few interesting things, actually. So, um, I can't wait for you guys to, to see what happens. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So, uh, well, Andrew, what is going on with the hair? Andrew, I, I think... Uh, that question Me? keeps oh, that okay. question keeps coming up, um, and we've been avoiding it, but it keeps coming up. You know, I, I, I think I, both I, both of them. Uh, uh, you, you, well, well, actually, uh, now this Andrew. Okay, okay this one. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, up to the people. <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't plan on this yet, so I was supposed to do another project, and COVID came, locked down, all the salons and everything. Mm. So I got left with this. Yeah, I'm gonna work it for the rest of the year. For the rest of the year? <laughs> yeah, we'll okay. see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. It looks good, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So any final words before we, we, uh, we go back to our viewers out there? Any final words? Anybody want to go? Anita, any final words? Um, Justin, I think we all have to collectively say a big thank you to Maggie. Um, if I can speak from a technical perspective, we know that the continent has really been struggling with the film industry, etc. And I think I can boldly say that Maggie has indeed um, more or less kind of given all of us a reason to believe that our industry is far from dead. Um, giving Shirley the keys to open this great door of opportunity for we um, both young actors, veteran actors, experienced actors. So I think I, I would like to say a big thank you to Maggie for believing in the power of um, African storytelling yeah. and believing in the power of telling this, this story around delicious, nutritious food. Thank you so much, Maggie. We really All right. appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you Maggie. Maggie. We really appreciate you. Thank you, Maggie. Now, Shirley, <laughs> before we go, Shirley, just, you know, final words. Um, okay, so I, I miss everybody already. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing all of you again, hopefully on season three, you know, but before we get into that drama, let's un unravel this one that we, we did uh, a few months ago. So I want to tell everybody to watch it. This is not just any series. This is, you know, this is, this is, uh, this is different. This is beautiful African women, you know, and very handsome African men you know, and these men can cook. They can cook very much. <laughs> so, you yeah. know, you know, it's not your typical, it's not your typical backdrop of, you know, um, you know, the women are in the kitchen, the men, the men are at work. This is, this is very different. Yeah. So I encourage everybody to watch it. I also encourage people to go on the Maggie website yeah. and uh, check out the recipes and basically just uh, knock themselves out with some of the recipes. Yeah. And, uh, Hopefully, as, this, as the episodes, you know, come, we will get people to also mention some of their favorite chefs and their foods. And I just can't wait for people to also see the Cook the Difference show. It, yes. it was amazing. We had so much fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Au revoir. Goodbye. All the best. And stay, stay Bye -bye. safe, guys. Bye. Stay safe. A tout à Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, Be soon. So we have loads of comments coming in on our Facebook page and our social media handles. Yeah. Let me just take a few. Uh, mommy, oh, ma mom, Mame. Mom. Mom. Says, beautiful African queen. And then Jane says, these ladies on season two are stunning. Thank you. Yeah. And then somebody says... Um, Please, Andrew, ask Andrew about this. Okay, well, we'll ask Andrew. And then I'll take the last one and say, um, please, Jocelyn, ask my question. Will Anna finally kiss Dominique? I'm here for the romance. 
Well, you have to watch, watch it. Exactly. And then when you watch it, you see whether there is a kiss or there's no kiss. Yep. Bizu. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. It has been a great pleasure hanging with you all. We hope you've enjoyed uh, talking to some of the cast members, the director, and, you know, Maggie as well. Uh, tonight, we hope that you're not going to end it right here because the drama even unfolds on, you know, we are cont we're going to continue playing the episode, so make sure that you stay on. Don't log off yet. But even if you have to, make sure you go back to the Maggie websites uh, and watch how the drama unfolds and get all the exciting recipes, healthy recipes from Maggie. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us this evening. It's been an amazing um, experience and also remember to go to the Maggi website and check out the recipes because I started doing that a couple of weeks ago and trust me right now my cooking is the best. I don't know if I believe John but we'll have to ask his wife to testify. Uh, <laughs> Alright guys thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. Take care and make sure you stay on because we're going to show the rest of the episode. Bye. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bisous. Uh. I don't do competitions. I never win. But this is not any competition, Anna. This is food. The one thing you are bloody good at. And one you can actually win. I promise you, Anna. This is good for the business. Think about what that money can do for us. I can actually take time away from chasing after this malecon and concentrate on building this place. And I have a blog that would be more than happy to provide you with all of the publicity you need on social media. And I can also make a play for some investors and expand as well. We can win this together. Can we take a look at some deliverables? OK. So they've provided a recipe for the opening contest. The variant is something new and fresh, you know, with a twist. I think we could go wild with some trending ingredients. <laughs> Please, the delivery should be made 5 p.m. the previous day. No, you can't just make new orders like that. This it makes things very, very difficult, complicated. Please. Mo? I'll call you back. Wow, it's so nice to see you again. Come here. So how's Aida? Is she still at her bank? No, no, she's, um, she's running her own consult now. Yeah. That wife of yours is one of a kind. So hard working. You're so lucky. <laughs> I'm, I'm so lucky. Uh, what's this? Food delivery service? Yeah, I have this small kitchen service company where I cook one pot meals and I deliver via this van and other motorbikes. Well done. Sounds like a good starter. You know, perhaps you should get in that Cook the Difference show. I mean, $150,000 could do wonders for your business. $150,000? Yes! But you have to be a good cook to win. You are a good cook, right? Of course. Well, then your destiny beckons. I wish you the best. I'll be rooting for you. Ta! Here you go. Oh. Oh. Anna, this is great food. You know, I meant to tell you about this competition I think you should be a part of. Hi, Anna. My name is Isabel. Isabel Kinge. You may 
know my family, but I'm also the owner of the Zadus. May I have a chat, please? The Isabel Kinge? Of the wealthy Kinge family? I'll be back in a minute. So, Isabel, what can I do for you? Oh, you go straight for the kill, don't you? Sorry? Well, I'm sure you're aware by now that uh, Dominic has left to Zadus. Look, he's probably coming your way to form an alliance against me. Isabel, I would so love to play games with you, but I won't. I offered Dominic a partnership. He refused. Maybe to start his own thing. Well, that's even worse. I mean, this guy has the drive to throw us out of business within months. You know, it was his idea to buy you out, right? Look, and I'm asking you, as a fellow woman, to team up. Just pour que nous puissions assurer les arrières de nos entreprises. Je ne sais pas ce que vous voulez. Je veux qu'on travaille ensemble. Pour qu'on se rassure que Dominique n'ouvre pas de restaurant dans les parages. Quoi? Je ne peux pas faire ça. Prenez votre temps pour réfléchir. Mais Anna, vous êtes une femme d'affaires. Alors réfléchissez comme une femme d'affaires. Yes, I needed the money. Perhaps so did my husband. But we won't hurt anyone because of that. We are just competitive. This is who we are. Bonjour. Bonjour. Désolé, je me suis réveillée un peu tard ce matin. Yes, je vais nous préparer le petit déjeuner. Non, ne t'en fais pas, je m'en occupe. Oh, allez, s'il te plaît, j'ai envie de le faire. C'est le seul moment de la journée où je peux vous faire quelque chose de bien. Ben non, j'ai déjà commencé. Et en plus, euh, j'ai prévu le fait de faire un petit déjeuner génial. En fait, moi aussi, figure-toi. En plus, j'ai appris une recette très intéressante qui pourrait impressionner les enfants. T'es sérieuse Bah ben oui. D'accord. Voici ce qu'on va faire. On prépare tout ce qu'on a prévu. Et la personne à qui appartient le plat que les enfants vont choisir gagne. Tu as vraiment envie de le faire Pourquoi pas Ok. Prépare-toi pour l'épreuve. Darling, you don't need to know who cooked what. You just need to decide which set of food you like to eat. Together. Yes, together. Daddy and I would like to know which kind of food you prefer. So, see 
okay, married people enter this union with expectations. Now, these expectations are influenced by several factors. Society, books, family, personal values. And um, so, um, for instance, Alex, you might expect Mina to serve your meals every night when she has been used to her father serving himself when he comes home, right? And um, you probably expect her to give you sex whenever you want, no questions asked. <laughs> but you know, so now this is what I want you to do, okay? I need you to tell each other your greatest expectations and then we'll see if you both are at the same place. All right? Okay? All right. Okay, um, I'll go first. Okay. I know how sensitive the relationship between our families is. And I would expect you as my wife to approach issues about our extended family with mm. about our extended families with some circumspection. Right. Mina? Hmm? Um, how do you react to that? Uh, how do I react? Mm -hmm. I agree, 100%. Okay, and, and you? Um, any major expectations you care to share? No, no. Um, I, I just, you know, I'm just really happy with Alex. Mm -hmm. He's, he's great. Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what we will do, all right? I, I need you two to come in here next week with a complete list of your expectations, okay? I mean, take your time about it. Great, I will do that. Okay. Hey, I'll see you in the evening. Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. Oh, no, lipstick. Thank you, Mrs. Otu. Okay, I'll see you. Take care. Et si on emmenait les trois recettes au concours Aïda, il faut choisir une et trouver la meilleure explication pour la recette. Oh, mais choisissons une, bon sang, elles sont toutes bonnes. Non, mais ne me regarde pas comme ça, je sais choisir un bon plat au goût. Ça y est, on ne pourra plus y aller. Ne sois pas idiote, hein. On va partir. Ça ne coûte rien d'essayer. Vraiment And be humiliated for not even qualifying for the contest. You know what that would do to us so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, forget it. We're not even going anymore. We don't have enough time. We won't even go past the gate. No, 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 no. You're not going to use me as an excuse to chicken out of this. Thank you.
Okay, this one. Alright, so let's dish up so we can. Let's go. We have one of the ladies say you hit her with a glass. You went there. You saw what that place looked like. I really needed to fight my way out of this chaos before someone hit me. So you were defending yourself? Could say, officer, please. It's just a case of wrong timing. I had nothing to do with this fight. Oh wow, Mina. There's no way I'm winning over all these people. Sure, they're all thinking the same thing. Don't let the numbers intimidate you. Just let your cookie do the talking. Come on, come on. Let's hurry before the queue gets any longer. Hello? brother's wife's sister. My sister in love. What happened? Why is she under arrest? Well, she was involved in a club fight last night. What? It's not entirely true. I've told you, I'm just a victim in all this. She can only be granted bail if you are willing to stand surety for her. Of course. Of course. I see that you have chose many traditional spices in this meal. One of the aims of the program is to push for a new paradigm where food is no longer a barrier, contestant 54. We need it to be an agent to build within the continent. Traditionality is nice. It's not a necessity, but it's nice. I suppose African traditional spices, you know, they, they can be very exciting on the tongue, but then if used, you know, you have to make sure you have the right combination and you also have to be specific about the proportions. And um, I learned that, you know, from, from my mother to, to cook so traditionally. Yes, that is your home option? Or yes, please. The you are giving for the competition? Well, my mother and then, you know, experience has showed me how to put this together. What change do we have in the soup? Which choice did you make? Do you have the chance to tell us how nice it is? Um, I suppose 
it allows you to see that you know you can use as many traditional African spices and you're going to be able to be very diverse you know the continent is diverse so it gives you that kind of diversity these are the chosen home cooks for cook the difference show Celestine come Ernest white Mo Huda Sara Benson Anna Crazy and Dominic Caesar When I'm laying on the baby boy you give me strength no be flexing and you got me so impressed so I can stay mad even when you make a mess yeah all correct come collect bend down select Jacob connect all correct come collect Jacob connect bend down select